Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's Kenshiara, and today I'm starting Subnautica Colosius. I'm a bit late for the early access, but I've seen a bit of Jacksepticeye like play, and you'll probably have heard of him. But yeah, I really liked it when he was making it, so I didn't really go too far in the series. I haven't watched it all yet, because I want to explore the game with you guys. So I remember previously when it first came out, I played like the first 20 minutes, and I used to not like these kind of games. So now I'm going back and changing my mind. There's a lot to load. And I think I'm going to be trying to post this series once a week. Because I know I'm going to enjoy posting this. So it's probably going to be posted a lot. What takes so long to load? Damn. But as you see, the game is beautiful. That's something I do really remember about the game. Is it has amazing graphics. I will also say a few other things that I'm going to be starting an ARC series later in this week, so look out for that. I'm going to be trying to post another Fortnite video, look out for that. And of course, I'm going to, well, the, if you don't know, the new Siege is coming out March 9th, I believe. So whenever it does arrive, I'm going to be doing all my placement matches with you guys. I think that'll make it a lot more fun. And why is it sitting at 100% for loading terrain? Oh, the Altera, I remember that. Okay. I know, like, the first time you load it takes a while, but still. These videos are, I'm going to try to make uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, so they're going to be, oh, there we go, loading entity cells, there we go, holy, let's go, baby, we're in, press any button to continue, yeah, this company's great, this is their second game, I think, some lock might have been their first, I think I only played this first one. Repeat, immediate evacuation of Sector Zero to Space Station Vespa. Sam, what's happening? The meteor storm. There was interference. It's closer than they thought. How long? Maybe ten minutes. Jeff, do you read? I've been coded it. I translated the wake-up command. Your timing sucks. We're evacuating. <laughs> Jeff! His last GPS check-in was at the cave entrance. I'm going up there. Roger that. Don't stay any longer than you need to. I, I know, I'm not gonna really explore this up bit because I, this is the only part I have seen. I just really want to try to get into the depths of the game. That's a sea glide fragment. I really wish I had a scanner right about now. Just 
the sounds in the game called is so nice. Try to get a scanner to then get a C I'm approaching the research site. It looks right. like Jeff's GPS tracker's here, but no other sign of him. Understood. Be careful. There's more detail than the first time I played through this. Wow. They've, they're doing a really good job on all this detail. Jeff! Jeff off! Jeff what me. Now Jeff is gone. Who am I speaking to? Oh, this is so cool. Jeff isn't here, but Sam, we woke something up. I spoke to it. Please, get to the escape ship. I'm on my way. Oh, this game is so scary, I forgot. I'm playing it in survival, because I'm not good enough to do our core or anything. Did I go the wrong way? What? No, I'm confused and semi scared. Where do you go now? I forget and I'm scared. I don't like how scary this game is, even though I love it. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love this game, but it is scary. Just the smallest thing is gonna scare you. Holy, this game is gorgeous. We have your ship on radar. What? I'm not on that ship. Who is? The jet's the only one it could be. Where's it going? I'll find out. Where are you now? Still making for the base. That's my best shelter now. Okay, I'm going to see what I can do from here. That's the wrong way. I still get lost a lot in this game. Do I go down here? I don't know. I do. Okay. Give me back to the base. There it is, the base. Feels like a, walk, a longer walk back. Oh no. Are you back at base yet? That's a negative. It's gone. <laughs> Sam! Do you hear my keyboard? I hope you're like me and love this sound. Your environment is no longer safe, and your PDA has rebooted in emergency mode. Be advised, 
I'll read that. Don't worry, that day that day of I'm I'm and draw read. Oh, there's a survival guide in this game now? Oh, that's amazing. I know, I remember the bits and where pieces, where small pieces of bladder fish. New creature discovered. Bladder fish. That's the only fish that can give you water, so. Oxygen. So, so it's not in here. Well done for surviving the evacuation required. Statistically, that is the hard part. This life pod will help you survive until rescue. Fabricate food and tools, and refer to your PDA's databank for more information. Good luck. Ribbon plant. I remember how hard this game is now. Oh, it's all coming back, and boy am I... Boy, do I love this game. Save, get that. Okay, we're gonna have to go out and adventure a bit. We're gonna not keep the water on us. I know that's a bit dumb, but we also need some food because, of course, they spawn you in with utterly no food. Bladderfish don't really need you, so I'm gonna keep you in the ocean. Peeper! Are you so fast now? You did not used to be this fast. New creature discovered. New, new creature, creature discovered. discovered. Once you've heard this a lot, you'll just get used to it. It's this is a really nice game. I love the way they did it. Am I gonna already die? Nah. Who needs to swim to surface? Not me. I can't stress that enough. I will say this game starts really peaceful, really cool, and then it gets deadly, and then you get scared, and then that's when Oxygen. you're like, oh wow, this game isn't just fun. This game gets pretty hard. That is what I love about these kind of games. They start off so simple and easy, just a survival game. And then they start throwing crazy creatures at you, exploring new depths. I love this game. Battery. And tools. Scanner. Oh, that's so good. Um, for 
a flashlight, we need silicone rubber. Okay. If I'm going too fast, ah, uh, it's just basic crafting materials that I know you need in this game. That's why I'm going a bit faster than a normal. This is Creepvine, but I don't see any clusters. What's over there? Oh, there's Creepvine. This is when the game doesn't get as safe and pleasant. I just need this. Mm. Run, run, run. Not every creature in this game, if you don't know, is the friendliest. You'll you'll learn this <laughs> very soon. If you guys do want to play this game through with me, you can. I'm gonna be going pretty slow, pretty basic. I just want I just know my goal by the end of this starting video, so that's why I'm trying to move semi fast. Equipment, fins, silicone rubber. What do I need for silicone? That's all you need for silicone rubber? Really? Darn. Then I'm gonna craft uh, multiple. I don't know if I need lubricant yet. What will I need? Did that craft too? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's so nice. Well, then we're gonna get that knife. And we're gonna see what we need next. Locker we won't need for a while. What do we need for fins? No, not fins. O2 tank. Fiber mesh. What do you need for fiber mesh? Oh, creep vine. That's why I needed the knife. Okay. And it's getting nighttime. This is when the game gets even scarier, but beautiful nonetheless. Oh, I know what creature that is, but I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So, can we? Ew, what are you? What are you? I'm scared. I have no idea if they're friendly or not. And I don't know. Sea monkey. Ooh. What are you? You do not look friendly. They just steal your crap? No. Give me that back. That is not fun. I did not enjoy that. And that's what I mean, they're not all just friendly and gonna look at you. I did not know, I knew sea monkeys were added to the game, I just didn't know what they did. And now I do, and now I'm not enjoying them being added. Yes, this is what I was looking for. If you don't know what this is, I will show you by the end of this video. That's a grab trap. Sea glide fragment. Yep, we're keeping this footage. Yes, the series is not scrap, boys. We did it. Boys, we did it. Boys, we did it. Oh, I'm so glad I could film today. Now, do not let me die. Nope, here we go. Boy, you better be a fa as fast of a swimmer as me or faster. Come on, boy. Oxygen. I don't care that it, I could, probably could have gotten you fins to maybe half this process, but now we saved materials while getting it. So we did it. Oh my gosh, I've never been. See, monkey, if you ruin this for me, nah, you can't. I already got the blueprint. Take my knife. I'll steal right back from you. Yo, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No. See, monkey, stop. Stop. Mine. Now go away. Give me a blabberfish. Bladderfish, I mean. And give me a pepper. Peeper. Peeper. Oh, we did it, boys. Lubricant, copper wire, battery. Lubricant, copper wire, battery. 
Lubricant, lubricant, copper wire, battery. Let's see how much of that we have. We have the copper wire. The lubricant's easy. And what was the last thing? Copper wire, yes. Wait, what? I'm now forgetting something. Lubricant. Oh, battery. Okay. Lubricant's there. What's for a battery? Ribbon plant. Ribbon plant. Okay. So we need ribbon plant. Got it. Ribbon plant and creep vine cluster. Both those are very doable. And we're going to pull this off. I'm so proud of myself. Even though this took a long time to film. Tomorrow, don't worry, we're going to do some PDA reading. And some... What's it called? Oh, there's some ribbon vine. Let's go, baby! My ribbon vine. We're doing it, boys! We're gonna... And don't worry, next episode will not be... Uh, as, like, tedious as it was for me. As, like, gathering resources. It's gonna be more, like, exploring some PDA reading. Next video is gonna be fun, trust me. Guys, stay tuned if you want me to keep doing this. Smash that like button. This is a really fun game as soon as we get uh, deeper into this. And I really want you guys to see it. So, if you guys want to see it, as long as I want to see it, just smash that like button and I promise I will keep doing this. Don't you worry. This game is great fun for me. It'll be great fun for you guys to watch. I don't know why we wouldn't do it. And as soon as I grab this, I'm then going to also have to grab some fish because I'm kind of starving so we're just gonna eat. grab you oxygen grab you and swim oh no okay we're doing it boys and we built ourselves a sea glide Welcome to the first episode of Subnautica. This is an exciting series. This is the one of the two sandbox games I'm going to be doing, along with Ark Survival Vault, a good series that I tried to do, but I realized I was late to the game. But this new series, because it has a whole new expansion pack, I'm going to be excited to show you guys. We're going to cook up some coop fish. We're going to then uh, make a battery and then grab some lubricant, maybe make some extra, and now Sea Glide. Boys, we've done it. Oh, this thing is so cool. I love it. I'll show you exactly what it looks like, but then I'm calling it a video. I've been... No, we're not going to eat that, sadly. Switch, switch. Vital signs stabilizing. We're going to grab a tiny bit more food, and I'm also going to show off this. Look how cool this is. Ah, uh, this is so much better to travel with. Boy, if I miss this. This bit, oh, uh, these videos do, I will assume, take like a tiny bit to edit. And I'm, I'm not a big YouTuber, so of course I'm editing all my own videos. So please support the video. It makes it in more enjoyable for me to make it. Seeing you guys happy. I just, I'm excited to do this series. I probably uh, have cut out some of the farming because I think this is about to be an hour, but either way, I'm going to stop yapping. I'm just going to 
cook this up, and then I'm calling it a video. This is Ken RS, and I'm out. I probably cooked too much food, but... There we go. Save. And your boy's out.